Reminder to everyone out there, if you want more Cuss Corner, all of the back catalog of Cuss Corner, you can go on the Mayo Media YouTube page and hit the Cuss Corner playlist tab. Sub to the channel where you're here, by the way. Smash the like as well, or check out down in the description the audio podcast on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever it may be, of the Cuss Corner exclusive feed. Go sub to that right now. Leave a rating and review where you're there as well, all right? Let's get to it. Cuss Corner, it's Cuss Corner. Cuss Corner, it's Cuss Corner. He's got the hottest takes with the highest stakes. He should be president of the United States. But it's Cuss Corner, it's Cuss Corner. Cuss Corner. <laughs> that is not what people are calling it. I think it is. That TC or Top Cat Corner has actually taken over. That's very rewarding. I have seen in the past 24 hours more people refer to you as Top Cuck than Top Cat. That's not true. One person said that. That is not true. Multiple people have been saying this. No. I mean, I said it to you. I saw people on Twitter saying it to you. And then someone in our Facebook chat said it to you. So it's all over the place. Old Top Cuck. Jeff Feinberg's here, by the way. Good times. You're really going over. You're scanning through the bracket, huh? Yeah. I wish I got a sample like everything I didn't know. Because there's a lot. I'm not going to lie. We're <laughs> I, just I'm not going to lie to you. In these, in these times, probably hard to get a whole sample plate of every one of these restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are not going to start there, though. I'm going to throw the link to the bracket that we're talking about up in the description of this video and podcast if people want to follow along. Or make their own bracket. Someone put it out on Twitter. I have a feeling we're going to be doing a few brackets here uh, in the upcoming years, months. Hopefully months. Hopefully not years. But well, we'll see where we go. Could be bracket season from now on on the Pat Mayo experience. But I did want to start with something I like to call, Jeff, Dear Custy. Are you familiar with this? I am. So if people email dearcusty at gmail.com and have a question for... Tim Undergust! Tim Undergust. That's not my name. And people have been calling this segment, Dear Tim. The doctor is in. <laughs> uh, Tim's views. Like, there's been lots of various names people have been throwing. None of, none of them have been those. Suge- have you seen one suggestion? Tim? No, he's coming up with these on the spot. So I have three of them here. I'm going to pick one. One is very... Uh, Maybe we'll save that one for later. How about this one? This one comes from Dominic. Dear Custy, hope all is well. Within the last year, I have graduated and got a full-time job as a nurse. I am asking for financial advice as I am struggling, wanting to save up for life, but also wanting to spend money on things like takeout food, activities with my girlfriend, and DraftKings. Have any advice? Thanks. (laughs) Okay, so... My first advice would be you've got to actually write down a list of your priorities. What are, And this is what I do. So I would advise other people to do it too. What are the things that I need to spend money most on? Write out your budget as, as I do every single month by hand. This is how much I'd like to spend on takeout. This is how much I'd like to spend on coffee. This is how much I'd like to spend on entertainment. And then whatever it is, Make sure you put aside anywhere between 10 to 20% of what you're taking in and you don't touch it. Uh, it doesn't matter how much or how little you're making. Uh, you put aside that 10 or 20%. It's untouchable. You will be using that to invest in retirement savings, education savings, uh, you know, a rainy day fund, whatever the case may be. That's untouchable. The other 80%, you use that budget. You figure out what percent of things uh, you want to spend on and then you stick to it. You got to be loyal to it. Back in the day when we had bank books, I could have a bank book that would scan in my account amounts every time I went to the bank so I know exactly how much I'm spending and I could keep honest. It's harder in this day and age with digital transactions that you can spend money so quickly. So you've got to be diligent. So I would advise you to not. not true. Not, he's, making not, it, not, he's making it seem like if you write something down in a bank book, it's super easy to tr- keep track no. of. What you can just open your app what, and see how much you've spent. Sorry, what I totally agree with is it's easy to spend money. It's always been easy to spend money. If you no. got some money, that is no, spending as, money. That is how the world works, Jeff. No, it, click, it's, e- click, it's easier click, now click, than ever click, before. Click, click, T- click, Tim click, is talking click, about, click. it sounds like he's reading out of a textbook about what you're supposed to do. That is not reality. That's, That's not how, how, I, he just have to like 
How, Jeff, how often out of your paychecks are you putting away a quick 10 to 20% every single time? None. I've None. got two kids. There's no 10 to 20% to put away. There you go. Some people need that money for, I mean, he's talking about playing on DraftKings and doing all the extracurricular stuff to have you know, some sort of fun in his life. But there are certain people that just simply cannot afford the 10 or 20% per paycheck. That has to go to paying off living. DraftKings part of living at times. Yeah, right now it is. Yeah. But I don't know. I think it's hard to save 20%. The answer is to the question is just make more money. Then you don't have to worry about this stuff. But that's yeah, it reminds more me of one of my favorite quotes from T.S. Eliot when someone asked him, how do you succeed in life? And he said, the secret to life is to be very intelligent. Well, like that is, that's actually, I mean, that, that's really glib. Like it's not helpful. You, even if you can't put away 10%, you've got to put away something. You've got to get in the habit of putting away some money that's untouchable. What it's you, just you've what got you to, should have done was caucused for Andrew Yang. And then you would have got a quick, quick G coming at you every single month. Yeah, I, I still do not think that a, in good times uh, that UBIs make sense without big cuts to social uh, safety net spending. But anyway. And we'll, we'll see. We'll, I mean, we were at the very beginning of this as we record right now. But, I mean, th there's just a lot of money being chucked around that. Oh, well, in, once in it gets, of, once yes. it, Yeah, but once it gets to a certain point and this money's never paid back, it's like, well, why didn't we just do this in the first place anyway? What's the difference? Well, but m money does usually get paid back. Like, for example, TARP in 2008. That all got paid back. Uh, like the loans that were to the, given to the big banks, even the ones who didn't need the money, that was all paid back. So it, the, the, usually these loans do get paid back. It can take a while. It depends on the type of capital injections you're talking about but often, I'm, I'm talking about the money that is coming out right now in order to subsidize people who cannot go to work and do anything like that that money's never getting paid back that is a sunk cost yeah some of the money will come back through uh by means testing it all right let's get to what we came here to do jeffrey we're talking about the ultimate fast food and casual fast casual restaurant bracket now i have not had all these restaurants in fact, some of these restaurants I have never heard of. That's why the draw is what it is that if you know, you really want to make a case for it. But that's not what we're going to do. So I'm going to fill out the bracket as we go along here. And it will come down to my vote, Jeff, your vote, Tim's vote. If somehow one of us abstains, Paul from the back will get a case. And he will be this. He'll be the vice president. He's going to come in and have the hammer. He's the tie breaking vote. On I this love vote. all this power. You have, yeah, but I mean, there's three of us, so it's very unlikely that there's going to be a tie situation. Oh, I'll, I'll abuse it. I'll find a way. Okay, fair enough. First one. McDonald's versus Jollibee? Jollibee? Jollibee. What's Jollibee? Uh, it's, it's a like Filipino, a Filipino, Filipino no. place. Yeah. It's actually just come to Toronto, um, but it's not for me, McDonald's. Tim, McDonald's? Of course. All right. Wawa versus Sheets. As a both gas stations, what's that? These are both like gas stations. Well, Wawa's sort of like a subway slash gas station. Well, there, yeah. was a, there was a ton Jesus. of Wawa's in Jersey when I lived there, so I'm going to go with Wawa's. The sandwiches were actually quite good. I'll go with you only because I've never had either. All right, moving on. Number four versus thirteen seed. What a burger versus Quiznos. Quiznos may be the most disgusting place on earth. Yeah, what a burger, easy. Yeah, I don't care what 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 Quiznos was up against. It was not going to be a pick for me. Remember when people were migrating from Quiznos or migrating from Subway over to Quiznos and then Subway ended up getting like the, the toasted subs anyway? Like, toasted subs aren't good. Yeah, I don't want you don't want no, toasted subs. Never buy to sub toasted. Never, ever, ever. I mean, I've had a toasted sub. I didn't, I've been to Quiznos. Didn't like it. I feel like if I want a sub, I just want like a regular submarine sandwich. The bread is too skinny. You don't get enough toppings. The length is wrong. I, I, just, everything about it is bad. Paul. It's pretty clearly like it's got to be like a money laundering scheme because you never see anybody in a Quiznos. <laughs> and how do these places stay in business? I, I don't I did, know. They like, that's have... just my theory. There's one near my place, and it's just like, I never see anybody in there. How, are you, how have you guys still been open for like five years? The one thing that they get right over everything else is the nine-inch sub. I like the nine-inch sub. It's the perfect I size. Disagree. No, I it, disagree. It, it is really the perfect size because sometimes six is too little. Twelve is a bit much. A foot-long sub? This list is just going to make is already making me hungry. Well, that's not good. You got to order some weed online and then go and do the bracket. That would have been a much more hilarious thing. We should have done that. 
<laughs> we got time. Uh, Panda Express versus Potbelly. I guess I'll go with Panda Express. Panda Express is actually excellent. Their yeah, orange yeah, chicken yeah, yeah. is top-notch Chinese food. I'm sorry. Uh, you, you'd be hard-pressed to find many things that are better than that. It is world-class. I mean, I would not find it all that difficult to find better Chinese food than Panda Express. Uh, most Chinese food places that you will go to, better than Panda Express. Really, like most Panda places Express, I, go I got fond memories of uh, like being a little guy out in San Diego visiting my grandparents, and there was a, a Panda Express in the local like grocery store, which I believe was a Vons uh, for those West Coasters. You know, everything's sort of localized chain-wise. Um, so, yeah, Panda for sure. Man, get some Panda, rent a movie. Oh, that was a life. Wouldn't you just rather go to a real Chinese food place at this point? You're like seven years old. No, like... you're, but you're not seven years old. You are... 30 something year old Jeff Feinberg. Oh, I'm up talking about like what would happen because there was like a video rental place beside sure. the bonds. Like, I'm just my memory. Listen, in a pinch, if you're at an airport, sure. Panda Express is fine. It's like, Tim oh, I wasn't vouching. I was just vouching. It's like higher end Manchu walk. Yeah, for sure. I'm not here to glad hand it as anything else. He's glad handing it like it's the number one Chinese food you could have. Well, he loves mall things. I mean, you're not, can't. How is that affecting you? How is your, how is your mall walk regimen going these days? Mall walks don't exist anymore. I was wrong about those Fortnite concerts. That's the only way concerts can exist nowadays. <laughs> I was wrong about carrying cash because most places won't take cash right now. This Are, whole is thing, this what? Hold on. Oh is this whole thing your fault? No, it's not my fault. I was just wrong about so i was thinking today how many things that i believe that are wrong that that like people are, are doing that are, go against my general sense of things that you just have to do in a moment of crisis like this i just everything it's just like i have long been an advocate for the shared experience but not like this this is not what i meant yeah and bang i mean tim was still using i've been all over him for the shared experience like he was just dying for the world to get back on track <laughs> Now this like, bank, the tipping point, but even about like bank books, ba banks are officially getting rid of bank books. So even all the olds that have the bank books, like, sorry, you got to put it on your tablet. And olds love tablets. I'm annoyed. My grandparents fucking love tablets. I'm annoyed when I see like an old in front of me at the bank machine, oh, like take, pulling out take, their bank book. It's going to take a while. It's really annoying. I'm no disrespect. No, to dis them, disrespect but those people. I yeah. know you are. We know you are. Tim's chat, chatting up the teller. It's like, All I right. Just need to deposit an American check here. I can't do it at the machine. Will you hurry the fuck up? I don't, I'm just not comfortable putting them in the machine. Will you take the machines out to get you? I don't trust putting checks in machines. I give it to the person. I know it goes through the little thing that they scan. That stamp goes on it. We're good to go. Most checks now, like international checks from any other country besides my own, I have to go into the tower to actually do. Other than that, I just take a picture on my phone and it goes immediately into my bank account. Yeah, that freaks me out. Sorry. How does that freak you out? You know it what? Just, you're uh, you're going to have to learn how to do all this stuff. Not yet. Is it because you're not getting checks? I just don't feel comfortable doing that yet. He's analog. I, he is. I mean, that, that's another thing to Dominic from earlier about his finances. Get them checks. That's another way you can increase your spending power. More checks, the better. Really. Next one here. This is the, the first, like, first round matchup. It's a 6-11 matchup. We have Carl's Jr. and Hardy's against Dairy Queen. DQ makes the upset here. Give me the 11 seed. They're blizzards. I don't know if I've talked about this on a podcast or not. I used to have an addiction to their blizzards. I used to eat one every single day, and that is not an exaggeration. Good for you, Tim. I, have, I haven't you. had one well over a decade. You've earned it, though. No, he no. can't have one. If I have one, it'll be like <laughs> Barney. It begins when he has that non-alcoholic beer with NASA. I can't well, have one. If I have one, I'll have a million. I, I, I'm here for DK also. I think I, as DQ. raunchy as it... D I, I appreciate the DraftKings promotion, uh, but DQ. As raunchy as it might sound, I, I, I they even supplement those blizzards with a decent uh, food menu. Yeah, the Brazier Burgers are excellent. They're not like as bad, like... No, no, the, the rest of the food so is I'm not as bad as it. you would probably expect. It's not like the fries at KFC, which are just like the worst thing on earth. No, they have these sesame chicken tenders. Uh, like there's sweet and sour, whatever. They're good. I you don't know care. They do good tenders. They're uh, good. Yeah. 
Mm. All I, here's the weird thing. Like I agree with blizzards. Blizzards are absolutely delicious. But you remember when you were like seven or eight? We we'll go back to the kid thing again. And someone will get an ice cream cake from DQ, like the party pizza yeah. for the birthday. Real disgusting. I, bad I, I bad agree. cake. I disagree. I like it all. Do you just well, like? I, is there I, okay? I, is there any I, form of cake you don't like? No, that I think that was innovative. <laughs> Would I prefer regular cake? Yeah, yes, but it is was the always answer. like a, I don't know. The, the problem is, is that it's good for the, about the first 30 seconds of bringing it up, but it starts to melt right away. Yeah, agreed. And then it gets yeah, real agreed. soggy, and yep. it's not good anymore. And plus, people like the fudge, and that's really not the best part. That the fudge is the best part? No, not really. I like the gel icing on the top best. Oh, my God. No, the fudge is clearly the best part of the ice cream cake. And then the like fluffy icing around the outside, and then the vanilla. Like The fudge and the cookies is way down there. I like it all, but. Let's get real, people. I mean, Hardee's. I've been to Carl's I, I, Jr. once. Really yeah. enjoyed the Bergs. Yeah. It was okay. I, I feel like they had, like, the Kim Kardashian things. They're always trying to dub these gimmick things. But it's just the, yeah, I'm going Dairy Queen. Yeah. DQ. DQ in the suite. Paul, are you in on DQ? They've got hot eats and cool treats. Yeah, like, off to the next round. They offer more <laughs> than the, the competition. Let's see uh, if they can oust... Uh, who would they? Oh, it'd be whoever's in the next one. Arby's yeah, so the next Taco one, Cabana. I mean, I, this could be DQ moving on here. So the 11 seed Dairy Queen moves on to face the winner of the three seed, Arby's. Love Arby's. And that feels I like an, Ar- listen, Arby's is moving there's on. No, there's none in the GTA anymore. There, there, yeah, I can't even get it if I want it. No, there's one in Bridgewater, isn't there? That's what I mean. There's one in Nova Scotia. I have been long thinking about the fact that I am sequestered for a while whether I should just go for a drive to Bridgewater <laughs> and get myself a couple of big beef and cheddars. You know, you don't, you don't leave the car, go through the drive through and drive home. Like, that's a way to kill a couple hours of my life. That's that's a long way to go for freaking Arby's. I, Ar- uh, Arby's kind of disgusting. It is, but it's got this generic taste. I have it so rarely. Uh, I'm in, man. I'll, like, I'll freaking put a bag of those suckers. Well, it's Arby's versus... Taco Cabana. I don't know what that is, and it ain't beating Arby's because no, I get a Arby's craving for Arby's on. sometimes. I mean, I and you know me, I think that like Wiz is like the most underrated. It, oh my god, it's the- like the ambrosia of the gods. <laughs> I love cheese Wiz goes on just about everything. I had cheese Wiz on toast I don't mean, not that long ago. When I, I don't mean actual Wiz. Bit. No, hold, like, can, hold on a second, Tim. Can you walk us back through that for a second, please? I don't know. Like a couple weeks ago, when I, I was having a non-keto day. I made toast and I put cheese whiz on it because we had some in the fridge. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so good. I read a story. I mean, I mean, more like a hot quag queso than like the actual yeah, in like the the bottle that would movie. be in your fridge. Like I, the Mexicasa. Did you did you heat up the cheese whiz first, Tim, or did you put it on cold? Or room cold room temperature? For sure, for sure cold. Tim doesn't room heat temp- shit up. Room temperature. He's a master of the microwave. Of course he's going to do that. What I was going to say is, instead of like being online and just reading negative things about how we're all going to die, I've been reading a lot of these like stupid lists. And one of them just had like, it was like 17 ridiculous cooking tweets in one, or like messages. And they just told the story about how they made breakfast. Their, someone's boyfriend made breakfast for them. And the <laughs> guy described, he, he asked, I'm describing this very poorly. Uh, basically, she has said, What do you want? For breakfast, and he said raw toast instead of bread, like a slice <laughs> of bread. He said raw toast. <laughs> it's ludicrous. Which is the way most of you people eat toast is raw because you barely have it singed. Well, you just eat it black, blackened. No, black. When you when we did the toast chart, it was burned to a crisp. I disagree. But it was like we could see it on the chart. It was in the bottom right hand corner. Like it would, Arby, the way well, that you make toast would set off smoke detectors. Oh, I, that's not true. That Have happened you, that a couple of weeks ago, but that was because somebody, anyway, different story. Okay, oh, no, continue with that well, story. I please. burnt toast in my house intentionally recently because I created an odor in there that needed to leave. <laughs> <laughs> my wife would have been quite a, it just, I don't, there was an accident. That story is better than anything I have. You're not allowed to cut this. That part of it. Okay. Well, I'm just going to cut that part then. No. No, I'll cut it with you saying you can't cut this part. I won't put it in the story. Yeah, let people think whatever they want. My wife's not watching 
through 20 minutes of this bullshit. Jeff, you, you need to know better than anything that gets No, said. no, I, if Jeff asked me to not no, use it as the clip, I won't. Tim, what was your story about Then she came that? in, it's like, oh, you burnt to- like a good cover-up thing. When you I could be like, the toaster had been moved all the way over, like the, the... And it was like fresh hollow too. Can you let him tell so a story? Burnt, so it burnt good. Oh, I love hollow that's been toasted. My goodness, that's an underrated toasted bread. My kid's part of like the hollow program at school. Like we donate to like this thing. So every Friday we get a fresh hollow. So like a Jewish thing. Oh, I thought you meant like some dude came over to your house and gave you a hollow. No, it's an egg bread. It's quite excellent. Oh, yeah. It's 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 like cake like at times. Yeah, it is. It's knotted and quite doughy and quite delicious. Doesn't sound super keto friendly, Tim. No, it is. I haven't had it in forever, but it is delicious. So what was your story? They turned up the the heating all the way and you didn't yeah, notice? Yeah, and I didn't notice. And then next thing you know, I walked away to do something and smoke was billowing out of the toaster. And then the alarm went off and then the security alarm went off and it was a whole production. <laughs> How did the security alarm go off? Because when the fire alarm goes off, that sets off the security alarm's fire alarm to go off. So the phone is ringing from ADT and I'm answering the ADT number. I'm trying to use my towel to blow the smoke away from the smoke detector. Anyway, it was a whole thing. Was it, oh, so if you did that and the smoke detector went off and then ADT had to call you, did the similar thing happen when you greased the bottom of the pan and set off the smoke detector? No, <laughs> it did not. Okay. Next matchup, we have Panera, Panera Bread versus Jersey Mike's. I'm passionate here. That you like Panera Bread? No. Jersey well, I'm against, Mike's. I'm against Jersey Mike's, okay. so... Uh, they Why are you against never Jersey? had it? Have you ever it's had phenomenal. it? It's phenomenal. It would blow his shit subway out of the water. I am it not going to so stand here good. and pretend like there's some other great sub place. I'm not going to. No, it is it. so good. If it, oh my God, it, like you would never go back to subway ever, ever, ever. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You would be like amazed. Jess making a pretty convincing case here. I love Jersey Mike's. Well, make make your case for either one of these, Tim. I'm against Jersey Mike's because it's another one of these hipster ref, uh, restaurants, right? How but but you're in on Panera Bread? People Nothing's more like, hipster than Panera Bread. Yeah. They'll serve like no, avocado no, that, is def- that is definitely not hipster. Broccoli. It is the most. It is the most basic of any of these places. It's, no, um, they'll like. Oh, we're gonna give you muffin top. Yeah, soccer moms go there. Exactly. Panera knows what it is. He doesn't, and, and the people who like Panera don't pretend it's anything other than it is. Anytime I mention Subway or someone mentions Subway on Twitter, there's inevitably one or two people in a very twee way who are like, oh, but if you've ever had Jersey Mike's, then you'd never want to have Subway again. I, I, I think that's the whole point of it, that it's so good that people like yeah. It's very it's rare so that a, that a restaurant a is so good that people need to go out of their way to tell you how good it is because you've never heard of it. Like yeah. that's usually a strong endorsement. I'm going to vote Jersey Mike's with Jeff. Thanks. I that's figured important that you to would. me. I figured you would. Moving on. And Wiley's got some war against Panera. So I mean, I don't really care about that. Wait, what's his war against? I don't Panera? know, but I trust him. Their soup is like okay. I don't know. I don't know what his war is. But. Uh, final of the bracket, two versus fifteen, and this is an awkward one. We have Chipotle against A and W. Is A and W even in America? In some places, yeah. I think up in the Northeast. I really like A and I, I like A and W also. It's a clean sweep. It's a clean sweep. You know, I mean, A and W is more is more Canadian than it is American in terms of like it's the fact that it's everywhere is fast food. No, so. I really like it, and I don't know. There's something about the burgers. They have this, like, and they're, like, seasoning. has this, like, awkward odor, but I love it. The only thing I, I don't love like it. I don't know. It's, maybe I'm they, the weird one, but people are catching on. They've done a really hardcore rebrand in, like, Canada. Yeah. They've popped up a lot of places, sort of this, like, I don't know, like a healthier alternative to sort of, like, the um, like a they've McDonald's or like a Burger pol- King, pol- even though it's not actually healthier, it's still a cheeseburger and French fries and a root beer. I I, I don't watch commercials anymore. But you know, like they have to let us know that. No, it's I'm not even talking about commercials. Wild caught, cod, not just a cod burger, but wild caught. And like they're the ones who you know insist we uh, no not use wrappers and have paper straws. Oh, like there was paper political straw. about A and W. That uh, is is annoying. Like I, they're clearly pushing like sort of a 
They're really yeah, trying they to have an agenda. Home for the they, they are pushing an agenda. Yeah, are they act? Do they actually have an agenda, or do they see a lane for fast Maybe. food to That's have that do. agenda? That but no they one else got has rid of that great bear mascot for the short bald guy. The root bear. He was the greatest one with the tuba. I still have a, it's my favorite Christmas ornament in the house. Is this old A and W root bear bear? Uh, that he's got the tuba. He was, he was great. What a great what a great mascot that was. A and W is moving on. I, I, I'm going to have A and W. are going to be really upset here because Chipotle's no probably like a Final Four for. They, well, well, sorry, Chipotle's Duke. They're out in the first round. They, lost, like they lost to Lehigh. I don't Turns like out anyway. CJ McCollum works at A and W. Um, underrated part of A and W: the breakfast. The breakfast yeah. is the best. Hash fast, browns. Just e- everything. Really across, good. Everything across the board for <laughs> McDonald's, Burger King, oh, Wendy's. Stop. Doesn't matter where you go. To any sort of place in the morning, uh, A&W has objectively the best of the fast food breakfast. And they have a great no, online coupon. No, McDonald's is not better. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. They no, give they not. give you real food at A&W. Yeah. So you get the, real sam- food the breakfast food. sandwich? Yeah. And they have a great like online coupons. No, I did not know that. I might go there on the way home. <laughs> There's one I, right I, around the corner. No, that's my own bracket now is deciding what I'm going to eat later tonight now. Although I who knows great, what's working no and baseball. open. It's, is, that, is that a DC you're opening there, Tim? DC? It is. How many, how many did you stock up? How, like, how many Quite cases two, do I have? I've had to ration. So you're down to nine a day? See, this is the other thing. When with our rationing, Sorry, I don't want to overblow the rationing, but my <laughs> wife's like, why are you going out to get food? Like, we have so much food. I'm like, that's for when the world's ending. That's <laughs> Shit's that's still open. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, that's as long as stuff's still open, we shouldn't be eating the stuff that we've loaded up on. I don't know, man. I've eaten out once since I've been, like, coring or been social distancing for seven days. No, but you, you know what I mean? I'm like, as long I, as I, I, I get, I get open, your logic we... behind it, but, like... There's still food at the grocery store if you want to go get it. I know. And it's not that, I mean, it's like crazy. It's not that crazy. You can, I can go on my computer to the, I can go on my phone if I want to. Right now, as we speak, I can put in an order and at, pick it up at, at the Loblaws. Grocery they will put it yeah. out front and I can come get it. That's oh, another thing. I think that's a great idea in this age of, uh, I, because. This, this, this isn't a new idea. This, I've yeah. been able to do this for the past three years. No, I was railing against it six months ago because I think it's stupid. But in this day and age with the concerns that we have, it's 100% a great idea. Again, I have to like. And guess what? All the beliefs I have. You're in big trouble because these great ideas are going to be like someone. They're going to become the norm. Like my mom, who like wouldn't use the app to go to Loblaws, is now going to like actually be feel forced to do it, but have such a great user experience that when this is over, she's probably just going to do that. And Tim's screwed, buddy. Yeah. Well, pa- pa- Paul. Paul, you got your mom on Uber Eats, didn't you? Yeah, she actually made her first order today. And she thanked me for how <laughs> how fat the guy showed up in 20 minutes. I'm like, yeah, a lot of the restaurants That's probably aren't that mom. busy. She's like, it's delicious. She's like, I was able to select like every every topping that I wanted on it. And I was just like, yeah, that's usually how things go when you want to order things. But yeah, very, very much a boomer learning a lot about technology in this uh, crazy time. Yeah, I even saw one uh, article from the home province that Tim and I are from that the government is giving money to some of these agriculture places that don't do any digital business whatsoever because, like, they're all going out of business because uh, they can't drive their products to, like, a market and go sell it. So the government's actually giving them money and tech support to set them up to be able to do retail online. Like, a lot of this, Tim, everything you love is just going to be coronavirus came to kill it. I know. Like, this quaint gentleman farmer lifestyle that I imagine for myself in retirement is – now inaccessible. I don't know what to say other than it's ruining everything. I like that your idea of being a quaint farmer is something you were just going to pick up at 65. I could have done it. Now it's off the table completely? No, it's not. I could still do it, but it, you know, everything this is, the is perfect I don't time know. to be it. What, what would you the, farm? I don't know. I've always, some sort of produce. I've always had beans or corn or soy or something like that. You don't have the gumption for this. I'm sorry. I just want an acre of land. You're and too an soft. Back. Too soft. 
One mm. acre of flat land, an old timey plow that I can stand behind and go up and Tins. down the field and sow my grains. And... My oh, the fan this art. Is... Oh, the fan art that we're going to get you... from just that. Yeah, we, we need some fan art on With that. It's a straw in my mouth, uh, you know, and the, the overalls and the straw, cool is this looking straw. Hat. After you've fallen from space. Like, you're a real <laughs> Renaissance man. Like, you're capable of many things. I like to think so. Extreme athlete, farmer. <laughs> extreme athlete. <laughs> the only like extreme athletics Tim might get into is like cig offs. Who can smoke cigs the fastest? Or who can smoke the most consecutive cigarettes in a row? But like, why wouldn't Tim think he could do those like crazy high like skis? Like jumping. Oh, ski Where jumping? He's just, just going down the I thing. I just hold my arms straight and keep During my the knees last bent. Olympic, I said I could do the ski jumping. All you're doing is going down a ramp. <laughs> It's like bobsleigh. You're just jumping in the machine. Like, it's different when you're the, the guy in the front has to steer. I get that. But the second and the third and the fourth guy, they're just there for the ride. It's the, 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 three the, seconds the, of running and two minutes of just grooving down the track. You it's could cool. not do the three I'm seconds kidding. of running. I don't doubt that you could train for maybe being one of, like, the middle guys. He could. T I mean, the people that do those are generally, like, ex-football players. Yeah, yeah, like... Yeah, Jesse well, Lumsden did sure, it. Sure, that's sort of, yeah. Like you, you need have... to be a high-end athlete because you need the speed and power to push the bobsleigh. Like, that's your job, is to be powerful and fast. Tim, you are not powerful and certainly not fast. I could learn. You couldn't. Bad genes don't have it. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I have great genes. I don't know about that. Jeez, that's going to be a competitive region. I will, well, I mean, that's the Mick. Mick and Dick McDonald region. So we're going down to the No Sundays region. Chick-fil-A versus Penn Station. I think we're just going to move Chick-fil-A on right away as yeah, the one seed. Sure. Yep. So Moe's versus Jimmy John's. I have no experience with either of these places. Does anyone? I think I've had a Jimmy John's sandwich before. I'm a sandwich guy. I don't even know what Moe's is unless it's, it's the tavern. South Western Grill, I believe. It's also a men's store. What? Yeah, it was a it was a men's store that I used to work at when I was in high school. So let's just move on, Jimmy John's, to be a sacrificial lamb to Chick Fil A in the next round. Looks like Mexican. This, this, is, this is a this is a tough but, bracket. This this is one that I've I've not had many at. So Culver's versus Boston Market. Had well, I have had Boston Market when I've been visiting Bangor and Maine and liked it. Say that again. Like I visited Bangor, Maine, where like they have Boston markets. Is, is that, is that how they say it, Bangor? Like Bangor, hardly knew her. I thought it was Bangor. Maybe it is Bangor. Sorry. Well, wh whatever. I've been to Maine, like Old Orchard Beach, and places like that, and they I've had it there a time or two and thought it was fine. It's like Swiss Chalet, sort of. Oh, okay. Jeff, do you have experience with this? Uh, I'm gonna go with Culver's. I'll go with Tim's experience at Boston Market. Domino's versus Torchy Tacos. Domino's I, is so good. It's weird. I mean, I'm going to go with Domino's as well, but I don't, it's even like the Chipotle thing too. Like I don't love Mexican fast food. Fast food. Yeah. Like I don't like Taco Bell either. Like I'd rather, <laughs> I, if I'm going to uh, get like cheap Mexican, yeah. I'd rather go to a taco truck. And if I'm just normally going to get Mexican, I would just go to yeah, like a legitimate Mexican yeah, restaurant, which yeah. is also not super expensive. And there's a few good ones around you. I like Taco I Bell. I, I like the, the greasiness, but my I wife like, loves taco. Yeah, she's yeah, all like, in on taco. It's about. great for what it is. Sure, but like if I, I don't eat Mexican enough to be like, I mean, if I'm cruising around, and I'm like I'm hungry. I'm gonna go get fast food. And there's a Taco Bell and there's a McDonald's. I'm always gonna go to McDonald's. Sure, but I do see it's a two seed in the last bracket, so we will get to it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, I assume it's rated very highly. Like I don't dislike Taco Bell. I'm just kind of out. On Mexican fast food to begin with. So Domino's then? Yeah, Domino's moving on. So we got White Castle versus Little Caesars. I love Little Caesars. So only, only for the hot and ready though. Hot and ready, twisty bread. I'm um going Little Caesars. I don't like White Castle at all. White Castle well, is terrible. Yeah, it's I would like the nut with... low, and I don't like like chunky onions cooked into my burger. If you're gonna do it in like a homemade ground burger. It's got to be in there better. So I'm voting with you, that, but... but let me just give an homage to White Castle. Their little tiny burgers that you can microwave are Gross. fun. I've never um, microwaved a hamburger in my life. Who would? What sort of psychopath would microwave hamburgers? You know it what? Says on the box to do it. Yeah, because 
Ugh. Why are you buying are, gas station White Castle hamburgers and putting them in the microwave? No, that yeah, would take longer than going freezer. White Castle will do that shit. But I'll get low. fancy and put like Dijon mustard on them. Or fancy. You're, you're a real royal. <laughs> Duh, so we got, we have Little Caesars moving on? Yes. Yeah. We Like the hot and ready was the staple of any college diet. Still is, I'm sure. Did, do they still have hot and ready? I have no idea. Yeah, they, they do. do. They do. I would hope they would. People can't be missing out on hot and readies. Subway, Subway a three seed versus churches. I'll yeah. give Subway the nod here. Yeah, yeah it, it has to lose, but I say churches. You could make the case for churches. It's though. just fried chicken. It's nothing to brag about, but Subway's so bad. It's like so bad. It's fallen so you far off. You are breaking off. my heart. You know what? I, I, the fact you pumping its tires proves how bad it is. If you had to go to Subway, what would you get? Because there's a subway at the very top of my street in the five years that I've lived there. Probably gone to Subway. Maybe the three sweet or four onion, times. chicken teriyaki. Like, that's, ah. that's what I get. I get that or the roasted chicken. But roasted chicken. If, if I do make turkey that tastes like water, no, I don't if do I'm that. like. Uh. It's one of the two chickens. I now, do like the, the meatball sub, as long as I'll cut it the old way, the meatball sub is. Tough. I don't want their meatballs. And no, no one's had a sub cut the old way in over a decade and a half. So that's a ridiculous argument. Uh, the other thing that you can count on at Subway good cookies. Good cookies. I will. I will. If every time I'm there, I'm gonna get the meal and I'm gonna get cookies good with cookies. it. And if we're gonna power, what best best cookies at any fast food place, bar none. It's the only place where you would consider getting a cookie at a fast food place. Oh, I've had the McDonald's animal crackers in the past, but I guess that's not really the same thing. What are you, those are pretty old? good too. They are good, but they're not the same thing. They don't, still have those. Don't I they just come with like Happy Meals? Those are for children, Tim. No, you could buy them separately. I know, I know you can the buy them separately. Child. They're for children, like young children. There was a time I was a child and I would get those to go with the happy meals or whatever. So your your experience of animal crackers is based on 30 years ago? I'm trying to think of other places that would have cookies. Maybe there aren't any others. I don't know. No. So if we were to rank the subway cookies, I'm gonna throw this out here. The macadamia nut cookie is the best one. Cookie, the double chocolate. They even have like the smart ear M&M one. It, it's all good. It's all good. They Sometimes you go blended. there late in the day. The one when I went, went to school, like real late and you're close, you just hook us a bunch. Maybe, but sometimes you, then you run the risk of them being like too hard. It's like if they first sure. come out, they're too soft, but they retain a good level of softness throughout most of the day. The moment they turn hard, it's like the Dairy Queen cake that starts to melt. I don't want that shit. No, I, I think the chocolate chunk is the best, but they That's had probably this the worst. They had this pink lemonade one uh, like a year That's or so gross. ago. Oh, my God. It was amazing. Gross. Seven seed versus the 10 seed in the No Sundays region. Papa John's versus Cookout. Papa, Papa John's, John's is disgusting. I don't, I do not feel that. They've opened one recently uh, in and around here. And I went and I purchased it. And just for the garnish, like the, uh, the, the garlic spread they give you for your crust, that's enough for, for it to advance one round. I thought it was really good. Uh, it wasn't better than Domino's or certainly not better than Pizza Hut. But it was better than I thought it would be and I think worthy of a win over something I've never heard of. What is Cookout? Is it like barbecue? Know. I'm trying to find it. And honestly, just searching Cookout like is so generic. Yeah, too. Cookout Restaurant? Cookout hamburger joint. I'll just say cookout. Yeah, cookout's moving on over Papa John's because it Papa John's versus something I've never had. Like I have a very negative experience yeah. is with Papa John's because it's bad. So this sort of, this other place has to be better. It's okay. I'm gonna vote for Tim in the next one. Burger King versus Sparrow. You're going Sparrow. Yeah, I had clean wheat. No, I'm going with Burger King. Sparrow. We all hate gross. Burger King. No, no I, I I don't like Burger King, but Sparrow is like bad pizza. Sure, oh. but it's better than... Yeah, Burger King's fine. There's stuff at Burger King you can get and enjoy. There's nothing oh, at Sparrow you can much. get and enjoy. Um, imagine going to a mall and picking Sparrow. Over Burger There's King. There's always a better option. I, I would still eat Burger King. Like, I, would eat Burger I get some go nugs back. and fries. Just I dream of the day I'm going to be... Well, I'll be allowed to go back to malls, Paul. And, you would, and Sparrow Sorry, would still be allowed. You just get Manchu Walk. No, Sparrow has this stuffed pizza, which is amazing, and their pepperoni has, like, I don't know how they make their pepperoni, but it is delicious. And no, Sparrow's great food. Like, I know it's been said many times, so I don't have to go over it, but Sparrow's as good as any pizza you're going to get. That is just patently false. 
I, I know, but it's what I believe, and I love it. Yeah, well, you just continue to live your truth. So 15 beats a 2 in both of the brackets so far. Let's move to the other side of the bracket. Five guys versus Roy Rogers. I think we can pretty much agree five guys is moving on there. Yes, indeed. Uh, I've never heard of these next two. Have you, Jeff? Zaxby's is Zaxby's chicken. Is I know that. I'm going to vote for Zaxby's. All right, so Zaxby's over Portillo's. Zaxby's. I'm really trying to get, like, triple letter score on their name here. Pizza Hut versus Firehouse Subs. I like Pizza Hut. So I I'm, love Pizza Hut. I think Pizza Hut has a real chance to win this whole region. Uh, Bojangles versus Hoodle, Noodles and Company. I like Bojangles. I've never had it, but... Well, I can't hear you, Jeff. Hadley, so. Did you turn off your microphone, Jeff? Turn it off your mic. Don't do that because I got I have my thing set up so I don't hear myself. So I would never I wouldn't be able to hear you. Yeah, don't turn off your mic. Just move your head away. You're good. You're barely talking to the microphone most of the time anyway. You don't need to be turning it off. So Bo Jangles because they sponsor Chess and Hadley, and it looks like you get like chicken and a biscuit. Yeah, it's good. We're going Pizza Hut though, right? Well, we're, we're not there later. yet. Uh, we're oh sorry, yeah, Bo Jangles. Yeah, sure. Uh, Jack and Avox versus. PDQ is PDQ the tenders place. I don't know. I've been to Jack in the Box in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, I was there in Missouri. 2009, and I went. We were at a hotel room, and my brother and I were traveling across the United States. He was going to college, and he was tired and went to sleep for the night. And I read in the maybe this is 2009, so none of us had smartphones. So I read on the map in the hotel room that there was a Jack in the Box nearby, and I'd never been. I left the hotel room to find this Jack in the Box in the Got middle of the night. stabbed in St. Louis. No, I tripped over a fence that I was trying to climb because I couldn't, like, the, the map wasn't clear to me that I had to, anyway, so I tried to climb this fence to get over it. I tripped climbing over this fence, all muddy, went into the Jack in the Box, got my burger. It was okay at best. And then I had to climb that fence again on the way back to the hotel room. PDQ, it's like tenders, chicken sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the same pictures as Jeff just filled yeah. us in on. It yeah, actually yeah. looks pretty good. They have it in Florida. The pictures I've look delicious. I'm willing to vote for them only because I had such a bad experience with Jack in the Box. I mean, you didn't have a bad experience with Jack in the Box. You don't know how to read a map and you're uncoordinated. Well, okay. No, neither of those things are true. Ooh, they got milkshakes too. So PD and waffle fries. Yeah. Oh, they How does this place fries? not it's win? Winner. Winner. Waffle fries. And it looks too. like it's like a garlic dip for your waffle fries. Like that I like. PDQ is like a real sleeper from yeah. the pictures I'm looking sort of at. Like or Canes. I'm just hungry. Uh, or canes. I mean, raising canes, I think. Now it's like a regular March Madness bracket where we know nothing about the thing that we're picking. <laughs> but we're picking it to go a couple. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a real sleeper. No, I've been to this one in Florida. Oh, you've been to PDQs? Yeah, oh, okay. Good experience. You're in Okeechobee Boulevard. Popeyes versus Schlotzky's. Is Schlotzky's like a Jewish deli? I oh, know. I gotta say Popeyes. I'm gonna say Popeyes too. Yeah, Popeyes is profoundly overrated, but it needs to go at least around. Long John Silver's versus Wingstop. Remember when we went to Wingstop? It took us forever to get our wings. I know. It was, it was like the ridiculous. world's longest thing. It was like, oh, we're making you these gourmet wings. I guess it's gonna take forever. And we got them, and they were perfectly fine, but they were nothing to write home about. But now, as a seafood person, I'd vote for Long John Silver, but... Uh, Fast I food, seafood just doesn't win for me, so wings. No, I'm going to go with Long John Silver's. I can do fried. Like, if, if everything's going to be fried at your fast food, seafood joint, then I'm in. Like, if it's like... like removing Long John Silver's. Long John Silver's. in and out versus yeah, Baja go. Fresh. It's obviously in and out I guess. hate that place. Never been there, have you? Don't need to. Definitely don't need to. So we're just going to cancel his vote for every anytime in and out comes up. No. Wend Wendy's versus Wiener Schnitzel, big Wendy's guy. Wendy's. I got Wendy's moving on. Yeah, me too. Just like this next one, uh, Checkers and Rally is taking on Sonic. I like Sonic a lot. Sonic seems to get real creative. They seem to have like Slurpees and shakes, even if you don't want the burgers. So I'm going Sonic. And those two weirdos in the commercial. Shake Shack versus Swenson's. I don't know. Shake Shack. I, I like Shake Shack as well, but what is Swenson's? Who cares? Okay. They're not beating Shake Shack. Shake I didn't Shack. like the, sh the shakes at Shake Shack. The one time I had it in Minneapolis, to be fair. Did you get the burger? No, I got the milkshake. That's all you got? Yeah, I did. I just eaten already at the Panda Express. 
I like out of all the options that were there, there's a lot of food in the Mall of America. Everything. And he just went to Panda Express. Probably like 40 of this list. No, I tried the Chick fil A. Didn't love it either. Weird guy. I mean, people are just, people know that you just have bad taste buds. He does. Yeah. I mean, he's talking about animal crackers. He has the taste buds of a four year old. Jeff likes them too. What? Animal crackers. He said as such. I could, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have one. Mr. Christie Animal Crackers. I polished this whole thing off. Duke Animal Crackers. There's a weird generic taste animal crackers. There is, and they're great. All right. Steak and Shake versus Wings Over. Never been to either of these places. I feel like I've had curly fries at Steak and Shake. Steak sandwiches. I'll give that one a go. I feel like that's like a minus 175 coming into this. Yeah, yeah I have no game. idea. I really just, don't just have a game to. I want to bet on. I'll bet on the favorite. We'll have it moving on. Raisin Canes versus Del Taco. Love Del Taco. Big Del Taco guy. Yeah, I know I said about the Mexican places. This is what I can go to. Yeah, my buddy's brother in California raves about Del Taco, but Raisin Canes is fingers and they're yummy and it's better than PDQ. So, but I guess it's all, all about right, so, your so, so we're in opposition here. I, I, I will stand for Del Taco on this one. I'm too. choosing to abstain so P. Shag can break the tie. And Canes has some of the best tenders. What are these I've two? Raisin down. Canes versus Del Taco? Yeah. Every time, every time, I don't know what I really legitimately don't know what Raising Canes is. Well, every time I've had Del Taco and I feel like it's just like really sad. Like, I feel like when I've had it, I'm like, I wish I was having a better taco place. It's not one that you want to get really full on. You want to get like half a meal there. Like, like just like you're driving in your car, pounding some Del Taco. You're good to go. Del Taco's got this like weird to me, like my remembrance of it, because I haven't had it in years. It's got this weird aftertaste. So I'm going to look up Raisin Cane quickly right here. But if it's like anything oh, man, that's canes not with the horrible. fries, and they, they give you like Texas. Most places have fries. They give you Texas Raisin toast. Canes. Like with Gross. your, no, it's, it's, oh, it's really? like, no, buttered, that like a buttered hot. piece of like, Oh, this looks a lot better than Del Taco. That Raisin is canes outrageous. Wins. Bracket this looks way better. Farce. More chicken tenders, though. Like maybe we're getting a little bit. It looks like it has some nice like chipotle tenders sauce. Are like, always I'm a in win. on raising canes. If it's... how often do you order tenders when you go to places? Never, I'll, never it, is the answer. They do have crinkle fries, though. That hurts. Yeah, crinkle fries rock. Uh, we're still going with raising canes because yeah, it doesn't have that Del Taco aftertaste. I'm raising canes. Where was I? Ohio for a road trip. Is that to see LT get inducted to the Hall of Fame? No. That was just something in You're college. Just go, going to Ohio? That was just something hang? in college. All right. Next one, three versus 14. KFC versus Blimpie. Is Blimpy subs? No, KFC is going to win this. KFC could very well win this whole side of the bracket, too. Yeah, man. No. Skyline. Every, see, okay, go ahead. Skyline Chili versus Codaba. Don't know what either of these places are. Doba? I don't know. I don't care. Oh, I've had Kadoba. Okay, I so no, and I don't care. That's Kadoba's. Kadoba's kind of. If I, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I've definitely had. There, there was definitely it's one Mexican. downtown. It's basically like uh, Chipotle, essentially. Yeah, it's Mexican food. Yeah. Cincinnati. It's a skyline's a Cincinnati place. So I know that much. Watched a lot of Tom Brennerman. Reds games. Do you really want to go to a fast food place and get chili if you're not Tim? No, I don't know. It's what they do. I think it's like Red chili dogs great and chili. stuff. So what are we moving on here? I'm abstaining from this one. I don't know. You All right. Well, give... I'll, I'll make the decision. Let's take Cadoba. All right. Marty hey. Cordova. Moving on. Well, I vote for Taco Bell in the next, and then we can put them to beat Cadoba. You're not voting for El Polo Loco? I don't know. No, we're definitely taking. You don't, the top. you don't know, or you're not voting for it. I like, I like the grunginess sometimes of just the generic grossness of Taco Bell. Yeah, Taco Bell's like the Burger King of tacos. Yeah, it's good. But you, you didn't want to vote for Burger. King. And a lot of the Taco Bells here are like also KFCs, so you can almost make your own little mixer thing. <laughs> but if you want to get Uber Eats, they will deliver you KFC. They will not deliver you Taco Bell. It's pretty weird. It's odd. Although they come from the same place. Yeah. All right. So now we're to the round of 32. Uh, Wawa had a nice run, but I don't think it's going to be upsetting McDonald's anytime soon. No. Whataburger versus Panda Express. I am going to say Whataburger. Whataburger. Panda Express. So Panda Express getting launched by Whataburger. Whataburger is pretty good, man. DQ versus Arby's. That is like, 
how shitty am I feeling about myself just uh, all in one matchup? I'm now, DQ a... is bad. I'm going to say Arby's. I prefer yeah, to eat Arby's. I'm sending Arby's through. The problem is, if I was only going to get one thing there, I do think that the Blizzard is the best thing on either of these menus. But, like, the next seven things are all at Arby's. Fair. And I have to be in the right mood. It only happens every few years. But I can be down with some curly fries. I think the chicken tenders at Dairy Queen are excellent. When was the last time you got chicken tenders? At... Again, people keep talking about fucking chicken tenders. How often do people go into places and order chicken tenders? I don't know, but... Never! There... <laughs> I think they're probably good. You think that they're probably good? They look so good on the ad. But you've never ordered them. They look so good. Why don't you... You love Dairy Queen. You seem Can to I love these fucking chicken them? tenders. Why aren't you ordering them? Can I tell a really sad story? Yes. So, oh, this is so sad. I shouldn't even tell us. Never mind. No, you got to go now. Yeah, you've, you've already gone. Let's go. So, not far from where I live, they opened up a brand new Dairy Queen restaurant. Now, I can't go there because I can't have a blizzard. Because if I have one, I'll have 20. But I went through the drive through just to get a coffee, just so I could look at the board. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see what the special of the month was. I knew it was going to be the mint Oreo one because it's March. It always is, but I needed to see it. <laughs> I wanted to see what the food looked like. No, I couldn't have any of it. It's none of it's keto anyway. So I got a coffee, but I only got the coffee. And it's right next to a Tim Hortons, which I think has got amazing coffee. And I like a much better coffee. But I got the Dairy Queen coffee just so I could look at the board. Because I knew if I went in, I wouldn't be able to control myself. But in the car, I could. Anyway, that's that's my story. Isn't that? I don't know why I told that story. No, that, that, this is why this is for you. Listen, people share their hearts with you in Dear Custy. You share your hearts back. That's why there's a Dear Custy. I'm proud of you for your willpower of not getting a blizzard. That being said, I think that you guys are foolish not to move DQ on to the next round. But anyway, I'm oh, Jeff hasn't voted yet. Arby's. But he was taking Arby's. No, oh, Arby's it is then. Arby's moving on. Arby's making a run here. Dairy Queen is the 11 seed. It's out. No Cinderella for it. A&W versus Jersey Mike's. I got the 15 seed of A&W moving on. A&W. Jersey, uh, Jersey Mike's, but... It's done. A&W, two to one. Oh, A&W's going to go far here. Chick-fil-A versus Jimmy John's. We're going with Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Boston Market versus Domino's. We're going with Domino's, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yes. Little Caesars versus Subway. I, Caesars. I will vote for Little Caesars. Oh, Subway. Subway launched. Get out of here, three seed. Losing to an 11. Poor Subway. They're, Tim's a big fan of them. He could be the new Jared if he wanted to. They're going out of business in a lot of places. How many places did they close down in the last two years, Tim? I'm not of, following it that closely. A two, lot of them. 2,000, I think. Well, who knows how many will be left in a few weeks. That's true, because like a lot of these other restaurants are still, I don't want to say thriving, because that's probably not the right word. Uh, like McDonald's is probably doing fine. Starbucks is doing fine. Like places that people go to. Who is like in a stay at home, social distancing kind of way being like, you know what I need to get me right now? Some Subway. It's no one. No one's doing that. That's what you like. They would if, if it came down to like Subway is all about convenience. Because there's just a lot of them everywhere. There's less than there used to be. But if you're just kind of out and about and you want to eat healthy, Subway is a better alternative than McDonald's and Wendy's and Burger King and Taco Bell and all the places that are sort of ubiquitous. However, if you're at home and you have all of the options on the table, you're like, hey, I would like to eat something healthier. You just pick a better sub place yeah. or a sandwich place yeah. or make your own fucking sandwich. I'm not arguing. I wouldn't. You just order Subway? Yeah, he would. I would. He would. I think he's lying about this. Cookout versus Sparrow. Sparrow. Oh, Sparrow. All right, Sparrow moving on. We're going to have a pizza matchup in the Sweet 16. On the other side, we have Zaxby's versus Five Guys. Since five none of us guys. has ever had Zaxby's, I think. Five Guys. Pizza Hut versus Bojangles. Bojangles. Pizza Hut. I'm going to say Pizza Hut. I think it's close, though. I like them both. Bad Bracket. For Bojangles, but Pizza Hut is going to move on. And I guarantee you I'm going to get, like, hate emails from people in the South. You will. 
But I think that's also regional at the same time. Yeah, a lot of it's regional. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, you better Are have you sure? another. Do you have, to, do you have to use the bathroom? Nope. I'm doing great. It's making me hungry. <laughs> PDQ versus Popeyes. I'll go Popeyes. Popeyes. Yep. Popeyes into the 16. Long John Silvers versus In and Out. In and Out. In and Out. Yeah, well. Wendy's versus Sonic. Sonic. Wendy's. I'm going to say Wendy's. I like Wendy's. So do I. There's a, there's a mood for Wendy's. Sonic tries really hard. So I'm giving them props for that. I'm giving them props. So is Wendy's. Wait, when did Tim stop hating Wendy's? Yeah, I know. I don't hate Wendy's. The moratorium I despise, is over. The moratorium is over, and I despise that 17-year-old kid who's the vice president's son who runs their Twitter account. But their food is, other than their chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich, which is no good, and their nuggets that are no good, much of their food is actually quite good. And spicy, so I can't hate them for that. The spicy chicken sandwich is the best thing on the menu. That may have been true five, ten years ago. It's the ago. same fucking sandwich, Tim. You ask the people. It, it hasn't it. changed. You ask the people who love it most; they'll say it has changed and it's not as good. You talk to Gary and about that, and that's it. That's your sample size. Other, as many people. Okay, many, list one other name besides Gary. No, I don't have to do that. But people are saying oh, okay. that the spicy chicken sandwich. Are people saying that? Are people saying that now? They, they are. I see it all the time. No, oh, really? Do you? From who? Name me. Name me one person. I am not under your interrogation. So you're just making stuff up, is what you're saying. I am not making You're it making up. so much I, stuff, Jeff isn't even paying attention anymore. He's on Uber Eats. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's arguing what do, what do about get, his opinion. He's arguing about his spicy chicken takes, which I, I I think we talked about it last week. I don't agree with. And yeah, he's getting brainwashed by Garyan. Garyan said even he still likes it. It's just it, it's over time, it is not his favorite thing on the menu anymore. He had it too much, was Garyan's argument. Not that it wasn't good anymore. Uh, also, Tim is just bitter at Wendy's because they dunked on him. They made him look like a fool on social I media. I dunked on them as much as they dunked on me. That we know that's not true. People can go back and look at the tweets. And they're like, who is this asshole Tim Andercast? Wendy's really got him good. They wouldn't even give you free nugs. Yeah. Don't, wouldn't want them. Just like you didn't want Stefan Diggs anyway. No, I didn't. Steak and Shake. Against Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting matchup the next round. Uh, your boy, Raisin Cane's against KFC. I'm going to vote KFC. Mistake. Oh, yeah. Mistake. Well, Raisin Cane's is gone. Another place where you've never got tenders, but the tenders are great. No. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Ohio. Uh, and we're just going to have Taco Bell moving on against whatever that other one was? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we have McDonald's versus Whataburger. McDonald's has to win. It I say does. what a burger. Really? Okay, I'll acknowledge I've never had it. No, but it is no, hold no, on. No, no, no. I gotta oh make the case. No, no. How you, sound you, like, you sound like Tim. Me. Let me you just say take something. I always say I hate somewhere I've never been. You say you love somewhere you've never been. Can the I tenders look amazing, Tim? <laughs> I gotta put this out there. This what a burger, which I believe is popular in the Texas region. I had it when I was in Dallas. It, it, it seems to hold its own on national polls against places I love dearly that I'm going to continue to vote through. It's a lot like the Bojangles thing. Like, Bojangles is fine. It's good. It's not great. But because it's in the South, people from the South are like, it's the greatest thing in the world. Texas people. And there's a lot of fucking people in Texas. It holds its own Texas. against what a, in, in and out, according to people. So that's enough for me to say yeah, it's people better in than Tex Yeah, you know how many fucking people are in Texas? Do you know how many people eat in Texas? I uh, trust their opinion. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's, On food, it's regional. Hamburger. It's just people like the stuff from where they're from. It's the Tim but, effect of things. But look, we, we couldn't possibly at least not have McDonald's in the final four of a fast food. No, we all know this. Come on. Man, man. It's just like how A&W is doing really well in this bracket because we all like A&W. I mean, it's a really weird case to make for a place you've never had. No, I think it's a great case to make. It's like... That fat people in Texas like it? No! My case is it's like, let's say this was a real bracket and we need to decide which teams were playing in March Madness. I would say, look at the quality opponents Whataburger seems to do very well against. Like, McDonald's number one ranked been, national things Yeah, it's not me. beating McDonald's. McDonald's has over 99 billion served. 
It might beat McDonald's if you opened it up. I don't know about that. I don't know. The people McDonald's love McDonald's. McDonald's doesn't last in these things to people that have got to experience everything. Yeah, p- p- people are real hipster when it comes to this stuff. I'm pro Dukes, bro. I know you are. I'm I pro know Dukes. It doesn't sound like you are. You want you want it to lose to Whataburger. Well, because Whataburger, I saw go head to head against Duke and play really well. Yeah, and lost. But it, it holds its own. So it can beat Dukes. Can't. It's outrageous. Maybe it could beat Arby's. We'll see. Arby's versus A and W. I'm on team A and W with this. Jersey one. Mike's would be running through this for me, but now that we're here, it's A and W. Yeah, sure is. A and W to the Elite eight. Elite Eight? But we knock it out here. Well, we don't know about that yet. Chick-fil-A. Oh, no, sorry. We have, yeah, Chick-fil-A versus Domino's. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I would have picked Domino's. It's really weird that you don't like Chick-fil-A. They stand for everything no, you stand I, for. Well, that just shows the principle that I have, that its flavor is just not as good to me. I might get Domino's on the way home. I haven't decided. I mean, well, maybe you get the get winner of this. Pastas. The Domino pastas are so good. Gross. Why would you go to Domino's to get pasta? They bake it or, and they use the same people, sausage they people, put on the pizza. Pe- in the People get very upset with the way that we say pasta because they're like, no, it's pasta. Anytime that you come at me with that, just consider the way that you say foyer. What or the just, fact that you use Fahrenheit that no one else in the world uses and makes no sense. Uh, I believe they use it in Liberia as well, Tim. Maybe. Switch over to real temperature, i.e. Celsius, then we can talk about how to pronounce pasta. I'm willing to concede that you know, maybe we don't say pasta the correct way, but there is nothing more aggravating than hearing an American say the word foyer. It, is, it blows my mind. It is the, the most day class A thing I think you could ever say. It just sounds like nails on a chalkboard whenever it comes out of people's mouths it's really weird little caesars versus sparrow i'm going with little caesars i hey, this is like this neither team should be here well they're here this is the way caesars, the bracket broke down. caesars oh tim That's sparrow's it. gone that yeah, sucks on the other side we got pizza hut versus five guys that's a real matchup five guys pizza hut Oh, let's, come on. So we got too many burgers. Fries, There's delicious delicious one burger. guy who represents the pizza. A menu with like three things Some, on it, man. Someone's got to move the pizza uh, into it, uh, you know, a little bit further. We can't be just burgers at this point. Come well, on. Little Caesars is still in there. Yeah, but we know it's going to get knocked out here pretty soon. No, well, we don't know about that. I, this is all a mood-based thing. Sometimes I just want some greasy Pizza Hut pizza. Well, let P. Shag decide if you can. Pizza can't. Hut doesn't even count as pizza to me. Why? Like, Why? it's just its, its own, like, genre internet. of, like... It's better than, like, the shitty pizza you get at the, the other places. Sure, I'm just saying, it's, like, weird. It's, like, a more than, like, I don't know, a classified its own, like, thing. It's not, like, pizza. Even though it is pizza. It's, like, a weird pizza. It's delicious. <laughs> don't get me wrong. <laughs> like butter pan, spray that pan. Why don't you get? Some, why don't you order? But like when you leave, order Pizza Hut on the way home. You can go pick it up at Young and. No, I pick it up closer to my house. There, they got oh, to buy one. Buy, get, I know that there's one on Young on the way up. If you mobile order, they got to buy one get one free right now. But I don't know. Two Pizza Hut wheels. Two two personal pan pizzas. No, I don't think. It would work. I don't know. I'm gonna Those go with Five Guys because I really good answer. Like five Guys. <laughs> I like Five Guys a lot, but I just think Pizza Hut's the better option. Popeyes versus In and Out. In and Out. I'm going to say In and Out. Popeyes. Two places you hate, Tim. Well, it's just it's all turning into all burgers. Like uh, I don't know. That, that's fine. Whatever's better no, wins. I, I, I'm just saying we can knock some of these burger Let's places. See. Out. Burger, burger, chicken, pizza, burger, burger. It's fine. More burgers coming, baby. Let's go. Wendy's versus Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Wendy's. Fuck, you love Wendy's now. Yeah, Tim's all in on Wendy's. He's trying to curse Wendy's, I think. <laughs> no, no. I just think Wendy's the right option here. I think this is the weakest region. I'm going to go with Shake Shack. And that leaves KFC against Taco Bell. Same owners. Yeah. I'm going to take KFC. I won't be upset if you take Taco Bell, but I think KFC is the right answer. I'm going to take KFC as well. How truck KFC. Round of KFC. So KFC. 
Let's see. So now we need to figure out what's our final four. So we're into the Elite Eight right now. McDonald's versus A&W? It's McDonald's. 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 Even though I would have voted both these out at somewhere. Chick-fil-A versus Little Caesars. Chick-fil-A. I'm close. Yeah. Chick-fil-A for me as well. Not Tim. Tim, you can have your vote. Yeah, I would pick Little Caesars, but... Five guys are in and out. In and out. It's in and out for me, too. Five guys. Just so much better than everything. The reason of the one seed. You mean versus the place you've never eaten at? I'll, I'll take the one seed. They're the higher rated for a reason. But we didn't do that for, like, most of these. I'm just saying. Believe it or not, TC, I'm actually with you on that. Really? Thank you. I think they're fries, the whole experience. I think mm-hmm. Five Guys is more delicious. I enjoy it. I've had in and out and I like it, but I think I've had more wow factor from... Uh, oh, the wow from, factor. The wow factor is much higher both on good. Five Love Guys, both. in my opinion. Love both, but I'm going to go in and out. I would say the big difference between them is I don't like Five Guys straddling the line between being fast food and not fast food. Damn. Like Maybe it's, that's what I'm going to eat. Like it's get some five. Yeah. If you put an order, go pick up your five guys. You're good to go. But if I'm like going up to order something, feel like it takes a little bit longer to get to me. Want it right away. That's why I'm there. It's fast food. KFC versus Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Shake Shack. KFC. Okay. Oh, K- KFC gone. Tim. Into uh, the Shake Shack's just is so overrated. I don't know. You had a shake there once. The thing that it's named after. And it was very underwhelming. Now, that is not what it's known for, sir. It's what it's named after. In and out versus Shake Shack. I think I'd go with Shake Shack. In and out. Well, I can't possibly vote in and out, so I have to take Shake Shack. Shake Shack going to the finals. McDonald's versus Chick Fil A. McDonald's. I like McDonald's better. And that gives us McDonald's against Shake Shack. Shake Shack. McDonald's. McDonald's. Yes. All right. <laughs> McDonald's is very clearly the best fast food restaurant. It's not. It I is. Lost, lost the battles, you I go there them. all the time. I do. Think Why do you go there all the time? Think like about a cheeseburger have, with ketchup, I, Jeff. How good would that be? I will. The reason that it is the best is because you've never gone there and have it be bad. Ever. Yeah. For the amount of time that you go. Really, you've, you've been to McDonald's it's been bad? Well, even when it's... you got to talk into the microphone. You're just not even close to it at this point. <laughs> I, I'm just... <laughs> It's not the best. It's not the best. It's not. Well, it won the bracket. It shouldn't have. Definitive bracket. I would have had it. You would have had it over a place you've never had before. Correct. That is that... ridiculous. <laughs> no. That is such an asinine Tim style no, take. I st- fully Remember stand you said by my take. I think my take makes total sense. It doesn't make any sense. If people I trust say that. Who, it... who are the people that you're trusting? I don't know. But are it... they Texas Twitter people? <laughs> Remember when Stop. you said he was becoming me? Yes. No. This is a very Tim style take. And no. Just the opposite. I'll put put it out there to the people. I think people would one hundred percent agree. This is what I would say. I guarantee you. I, I feel pull like better you have to do than it, anything Jeff. you pull. You have to do that now. Put it out to the people right now. Well, I no, don't they, even know how to word the poll. They, they, well, most people will be like, I've never eaten at Whataburger, so I'll vote for McDonald's. What would you rather eat, McDonald's or Whataburger? No, my logic for voting for Whataburger makes perfect sense. I saw a box score. You're they scared of Duke. what the polls are going to say. Yeah, they, they sometimes played... you got to watch the film, Jeff, you analytics nerd. No. All right, how much does Jeff have to get for it to be uh, marked as a win? It's winner? hard to quantify the poll. It's or hard to quantify 10? what I want from the poll. I think enough people would vote for it just because of the hipster factor of not liking McDonald's. Just everyone in Texas would vote for it. Apparently. Yeah. Every single person, hundred percent approval rating. You, you guys are sleeping on Arby's and Taco Bell, by the way. Really? I don't that, think sleeping on Arby's. Oh, you guys gave them no respect and Taco Arby's Bell getting re- get, You would rather go to Arby's and go to a and W. I haven't had it in so long. There's none. In yeah. The, you know why you, you haven't downtown. had it in so long? Cause you have it once. You're like, don't need that for 10 no, years. No, I used to have it all the time. When I used to tree plant. I'd be in, uh, 
a Grand Prairie Alberta. It was right across the street from the hotel, and I would go in there and do like the four for six picks. Oh, and you have got it. like you got there's so many good Chargers sides. Beat the Bills. The sides are amazing. Eric the Midget, and died. they don't have them in Toronto downtown. It's awful. I was crushed. You gotta go to the Burbs. I yeah. was crushed. I went to the game in Buffalo, and you so went you're to on a great you're on a great high. You just went to a roadie. You saw your team win. I think it was against one of those Trent Edwards Bills teams. Oh, T. Ed. And then you're on your way home, and Eric the Midget dies. And you're just, nothing can make you happy. Then you have to go to Arby's because you're feeling bad. Yeah, you get like that, a that sack is... of five roast beef for Listen, like six, seven you bucks. You get the five for five? Yeah, whatever they wanted the to charge. onion petals and, and shit like that. Like, the Arby's so sauce. Many good sides. You guys are really sleeping on it. I feel like it's for depressed people. Might be. I want one right now. You want some Arby's? I am actually going to Google this right now. Where is the closest Arby's? Burlington. Yeah. How, yeah, I, how far? Like I don't know where that is. Five minutes from here. Well, because That's you can maybe get on the gardener, you can like get there a weirder way, but it's far, man. The I thought they were closing the gardener down altogether. No. Wasn't that replaced? Nice, nice, uh, nice 2017 news, pal. No, oh, I, I remember that's the last time I was there, probably. So there's Burlington that way. There apparently there's oh, t- there's one in Oshawa, Paul. Yeah, I can never get somebody to go with me. I haven't had, I haven't stooped, to, I guess, to the to the sadness Arby's. Oh, how far away would that be then? Like over an hour? Yeah, it's, I mean, in our current state of affairs, you could probably get there in like thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> there's not, there's a lot of Arby's in the Buffalo area. Looking at this map. The Niagara Buffalo area, filled with Arby's. But they seem to exist outside of like most major metropolitan places. Are any of them on Whirlpool Drive? I mean, isn't the entire Niagara side of the US <laughs> side of Niagara Whirlpool Drive? Just goes that's in one big loop. Li- no, I mean that that's why it's named that way. It just goes in like one big loop. <laughs> what, what was the name of the, was that Seneca Casino we went to? Yes, I believe it was. All right. Well, before we get out of here, we have one more thing we need to talk about. It is another Dear Custy. So if you send your emails to dearcusty at gmail.com, maybe your question will get read for the people on the show. Jeff, you ready for this? Yep. Uh, This is from Leland Decker. So Leland. I let a couple sleep over at my apartment last weekend. The girl is smoking hot and the guy always comes off as suspect. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It was 4 a.m. when I woke up to someone performing oral sex on me. The lights were off, and the person was under the covers. Now, this was the best one I've ever had. I was left with a decision. Do I simply enjoy this amazing experience and go back to sleep after, or do I lift the covers to see which one is performing it? And I need to emphasize the best one of my life. I would be devastated if it were a guy that I have the suspicion on, but if it was the girl, I now feel guilty that she is messing around on him. Cussed. What would you do in this situation? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> God that got pretty, uh, pretty aggressive pretty fast. That done. Uh, my, my goodness gracious. Uh, I suppose uh, <laughs> the truth will set you free. So I guess you got to find out the truth. Got to take a gander. I, I, I guess that is what you are obliged to do. Uh, you have to have to know the truth. But. My goodness, I, I wouldn't be letting these people stay over at my house anymore. That's uh, why it's best of his life. No, no, I, I don't even feel comfortable talking about this. My goodness, take a gander. Hardly knew her. Got to take a gander. Got to take a gander. You have to. You have to. I think you. You don't have a choice. You've got to see. All right, last one. Last dear Custy of the day. Is it we... as gra- is it as graphic and gratuitous as that one? <laughs> Sure, why not? Oh, no. This one is actually from Paul's friend, Rob W. Greetings to Tim slash Topcat. That's very nice. Oh, thank you, Rob. You're a cuck, Tim. (laughs) No, that's not what it says. (laughs) My name is Rob, and I have a dilemma. I have a group of friends who have bestowed an unwanted and, more importantly, unwarranted nickname upon me, and that nickname is Pogey Rob, which I believe I came up with. Or, Paul, (laughs) you copied it off of me because I was going... Our friend Jamie. I feel said like Jamie Cody started calling it, and then now I call him Pogi Rob, like pretty regularly, even with like other people outside of the circle. Is he, he on it. soul? 
Is he on the dole? As you may know, pogey yes. is a slang term used for government assistance in Canada and is solely used in a pejorative manner. Needless yeah. to say, I find this nickname demeaning, especially since I have been never been on any form of government assistance. Okay, I did receive those GST checks from the CRA as a university student, but who didn't? My strategy has been to simply ignore it and not make a fuss, as I am fairly certain my friends would do it more if they knew it bothered me so much. As someone who has faced and overcome a similar situation, how would you recommend I approach this issue? Godspeed, Top Cat, not Pokey Rob. Well, Rob, I understand your dilemma. <laughs> I have been given multiple nicknames that do not apply to me, that have nothing to do with me. I mean, it's not just the, the one that comes up on this show all the time. There was one in French that I was given uh, where I was called like the eighth of something. Oh, like, no, no, that, that, wait, was that when you were cussed Vanda Sex, the eighth? Yes, that makes <laughs> no sense. I have an unending of. Let me give you one piece of advice that served me well. Fight back at every turn. Don't you give an inch to these people. Don't just shrug your shoulders and accept it. You say, no, that's not my name at every opportunity. Don't you give an inch. Uh, and then if you need to, give yourself a good name that will overcome <laughs> the bad name. People are like, hi, Pogi Rob. Well, actually, I'm Super Rob. That's my name. I'm Super Rob. That's what people have been calling me. That's what most people actually do call me is Super Rob. You just say it and you believe it and you just don't give up and you never give these people an inch. Because if you do, they won't they will not only be satisfied with Pogi Rob. They'll start calling you some other stupid name that has nothing to do with reality and isn't, isn't your name either. So I'm telling you, stick up for yourself and never, ever, ever back down and give yourself a name to paper over the one you don't like. Now that way to succeed. This is really sage advice from... Dr. Tim Andercust, insane person. Not my name. Not th th Tim, if it's not your name, why does it say it on this fancy graphic? I can't control your cyberbullying. <laughs> you have control of the board, not me. All I can do is let people know it's not my name. What people need to do is go look up Pogi Beach on YouTube, and then you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, very, it's very funny. <laughs> Pogi isn't necessarily a pejorative term. Pogi is just collecting unemployment insurance for seasonal workers who get paid under the table Well, they're collecting unemployment insurance. Then you're collecting the Pogi, Jeff. You work for six months a year, you get laid off for six months, collect the Pogue, and then work underneath the table. But the thing is, in this, era, in this era where, unfortunately, untold millions are going to be laid off, like it's not going to be considered pejorative in any sense because many people, they're going to need it to make ends meet. Yes, uh, there's nothing wrong with. There's other... nothing wrong with it when you pay into it. It's there for when times are tough. Yeah, the the pogue part of it is that you're still working at the same time, just in cash, so you're making double your money. Correct. I want everyone to know that we made this nip nickname for him before there was a global pandemic. Yes, this name is from like a good eight. Nine years ago. Yeah, it's we, not his name. No one calls him this. Hey, but I mean, me and Cody have a parlay on the show where Cody goes through the entire card. We call it the Pogi Rob parlay because Pogi Rob asked for Cody to go through his picks. It's not his name. His name is Rob. So I think he should lean Rob. into it. I think he should lean into it. I think he should uh, really get after it. Like, I, I told him that he could do like a mad money kind of segment on my show. And it would just be, but it would be like Pogi Rob, so it'd be like Mad Money, but like really sad. Yeah, but then he just would he just do it once, and then try to collect Pogue for the episode <laughs> two and not come in. I mean, yeah, <laughs> sounds like a yeah perfect plan to me. Anyway, Pogi Rob, if you are watching out there, I don't think that you should be taking the best way to avoid a bad nickname that you don't like from Tim Undergust. Tim Undergust. <laughs> That is not my name, and no one calls me that. Why do you have a theme song, then? You created it. But people love it. Imagine you being on the show and not having the theme song. But people think, oh, it'd be, and I've had people say to me, oh, it's so cool that you have a theme song. You don't want a theme song. People, you know, but, this is not like, and then there's Maud from Maud. It's not like, it's not cool like that. And then there's Maud. Exactly. That's cool. And then there's Maud. Lady Godiva was a freedom rider. See, that, that's a great theme song. And then the there's my heart. 
I can't put my hands in my face because I don't want to get the coronavirus. <laughs> Might have to do it anyway. Oh, boy. Maybe maybe that should be your play. If you're truly a man of the people, the tribune of the people, Tim, maybe you get someone else out there to get you a new team, a new Top Cat theme song. Well, I mean, the people do that for me, please. So when people are watching sporting events and there's like a timeout or a commercial break and then Barbara Streisand comes on in the arena, people don't just immediately text you. The Tim Andercast song is playing. It happens all the time. Every day. I, that sounds pretty awesome. I don't have anything like that in my life. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's awesome the first couple of times, but then, uh, then it's less, less, less awesome. Let's see, that's what happened. Jeff Feinberg, thank you for being here. Hungry? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty hungry. What are you ordering, Jeff? You've been pretty. I don't know, uh, but this thing's gotta phone. just. Oh, this sucks. Follow Jeff on Twitter, G Feinberg seventeen. <laughs> For all his cheery takes. <laughs> My takes are pretty cheery on Twitter, but I don't know, man. Jeff. Oh, yeah. You know what's real cheery on Twitter? Ah, here's what the Jets have done in free agency. Cross off nothing. Well, who That's knows when people will be watching thing. this? Maybe it got worse for Jeff, the Jets. Jeff, what are you ordering? I have no idea. Oh, I thought I thought you had, like, an answer. No. Okay. You follow Paul on Twitter, Paul Sheck. Check him out on the Dog or Pass podcast, where at this current time, hopefully UFC has returned by the time that you're watching this or sometime in the future when you're watching this, but it's like Cage Warriors right now. Once that ends up going away, who knows what's next? <laughs> some bare knuckle boxing on like an empty cruise ship or something. Paul. There was something called guerrilla fighting from like deep in Dagestan that popped up on uh, a couple of books. <laughs> I, I, I legit like didn't know. What any 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 of these guys or any of the people that they had ever fought. But yeah, like, but the question is, does there will Co be fun. Does Cody somewhere. know who they are? What's that? Uh, probably not, man. This was real dusty, like the dustiest. Right. I couldn't believe that there were odds for it. <laughs> at Paul Shag, this is where we're at in time right now. Talking about Dagestani people fighting. are betting on the weather. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good thing to bet on. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm like, Pat Mayo. What? You can follow me at the PME Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Subscribe to the Pat Mayo Experience audio podcast if you want to get into a draw for 100 DraftKings dollars. Also, tell a friend, share the show around. After you subscribe, download them episodes and leave a five-star review, DraftKings handle, something you enjoy about the show. You'll be in that draw for 100 DK bucks. Uh, and all of the previous Cuss Corners are in the description of this video and podcast. This is number 27. There's a lot of them out there. There's even some minis that are out there, too. You get hours. You need, you need hours to kill because we're into month... 87 of the quarantine then hey go back and revisit the cuss corners i made it very easy for you anyway i'm pat mayo thanks for watching i'll see you next time experience. experience